had an aspidestra in a flower pot on the whatnot near the axe stand in the hall. It didn't seem to grow till one day our brother Joe had a notion that he'd make it strong and tall. So he's crossed it with an acorn from an oak tree and he's planted it against the garden wall. It shot up like a rocket till it nearly touched the sky. It's the biggest aspidestra in the world. We couldn't see the top of it, it got so blooming high. It's the biggest aspidestra in the world. When father's had a skin full at his pub, the bunch of grapes, he doesn't go all fighting mad and getting into scrapes. You'll find him in his bare skin playing Tarzan of the Apes up the biggest aspidestra in the world. We have to get it watered by the local fire brigade, so they've put the water rates up half a crown. The roots stop up the drains, grow along the country lanes, and they come up half a mile outside the town. Once we hired the Crystal Palace for a not house, but a jealous rival went and burnt it down. The tomcats and the moggies love to spend their evenings out up the biggest aspidestra in the world. They all begin meowing when the buds begin to sprout up the biggest aspidestra in the world. The dogs line up for miles and miles, a funny sight to see. They sniff around for hours on end and wag their tails with glee. So I've had to put a notice up to say it's not a tree. It's the biggest aspidestra in the world. It's getting worn and weary and its leaves are turning grey. It's the oldest aspidestra in the world so we water it with half a pint of guinness every day it's the stoutest aspidestra in the world the borough council told us that we've got to chop it down it interferes with aeroplanes that fly above the town so we sold it to a woodyard for a lousy half a crown the biggest aspidestra in the world. The biggest, biggest, biggest aspidestra in the world.